All right, in this video, I'm going to make a, a very simple non-playing character that can run around, go to different points. And I've done this in other videos, but I'm going to use this one as a basis for um, non-playing character behaviors. I'm going to add to this. So let's go ahead and get a fresh world and get started. I'll stop this, shrink this down. I have a fresh world right here. And I'm going to go to plugins, build rig, R15 mesh rig. All right, so there we go. There's our dummy. And I'm going to call the dummy Ralph. And inside Ralph, or whatever you named him, go down to humanoid root part and make sure it is unanchored. If you forget to uncheck this, your little guy is not going to move. All right, let's go back to home and add a part. This is going to be my waypoint. I'll just call it WP for now. And I'm going to anchor that and can collide off. And on the position on the Y, so I'm at position right here, I'm going to move that up three studs so it's off the ground. And I'm just going to make the size of my waypoints one by one by one. And you'd make them invisible in your game, but we want to look at them because, you know, we're creating stuff. We're still programming. Uh, I'm going to make collisions off, so when I duplicate it, Control D, it's going to duplicate in place. That way it doesn't affect the height. I'm just going to add four of these. So we have a little track. All right, go ahead and group them all. Right click, group, call this WPS. And now I'm gonna rename them. I'm gonna name them waypoint one. Where's one, one. I'm gonna do them in order. So this is two right here. And is that three? Yep, two, three, good. Three, and that's four. And you can move your waypoints around so they can do different things. And even pausing and stuff like that. All right, so let's go to Ralph and let's add a script. Let's add a script to Ralph so he can run around. I'm gonna call this simple move. All right, so this is a very, very simple state machine. It's got one state. It is patrol. It's not really a state machine because state machines imply some sort of changing, but we're going to add to that and get a state machine. So I'm going to call it simple move. And I'm going to get my waypoints. Local WPS. And it's in the workspace under the model waypoints. So that WPS has a reference to the model. So I'm going to make a track, all right? And we're not going to do any decision making in the track. That's going to be a little more complicated. I'll say WP1, WPS dot WP2, WPS dot WP3. You can see I'm keeping this simple. WP4. All right, and then I'll start over at WP1 again. And we need an index, right? We'll call this WPX index because we want to know which one of these we are on in the track. So we're going to start with one. All right, now we need our character. So we'll do script.parent, that'll give us the character. And we'll need a humanoid char. And since it's already in the workspace, we could probably just get away with doing a dot humanoid. But if you wanted to be careful, you'd do like a wait for child humanoid or a find first child and do a check. So we'll say humanoid colon move to. All right, I'm gonna get my track square brackets, I'm going to use my WPS index, and that's going to get me this point right here inside the track, right? So I have my track, I use these brackets, whoops, control Z, I use these brackets, and then I have this index in here, which is one, so that's this one right here, and then I'm going to do dot position, and that's going to move my character to that position. Let's wait five seconds so we can get into the game to see it. And there he goes. He slid to waypoint one. So that's pretty cool, but we want him to run, right? So before you turn this off, go to your workspace, go to your character, SimTech Gamer 7 in this case, right click on that animate, right? See that animate? I right, I right clicked on it and I'm going to hit copy. 
Now turn your game off or else this won't save. Go to Ralph, paste into, boom. The downside is this is a local script. We need to change it to a server script. That's not really that easy to do. I don't think we have anything down here that changes script type. Nope. So we're going to hit Ralph, the plus sign on Ralph, get a script, and we're going to call this animate. See, it's a local script for you because you're the player, you're the client. He's living on the server, so we need a server script here. So open up animate the local script one that we copied in from the character. Start at scale dampening percent, scroll down to play emote, hit the shift, click play emote, drag all this into animate. Not really into, it's gonna go underneath it. All right, now on animate the local script that we got all that stuff from, we need the code in here too. So I'm gonna click on the script, I'm gonna hit control A to select all, control C to copy it. I'm gonna to go to my animate, there's nothing in it but the print statement. I'll get rid of that. Control V to paste. So the only thing I need to do is get rid of this section here, set up emote chat hook. It will not break your game, but it'll put some ugly errors in the uh, output window because uh, your, your uh, non, non playing character can't use the chat for, that the players use. So we'll just get rid of that. That way we won't have any errors. And then get this uh, local script that we copied in before and we can delete it, it's all gone. We have everything in our animate. So go back to simple move and now this will run, right? And I'm not gonna test it yet, just take my word for it, it'll run. So we have the move to and that will move our character to a specific point on the world. And many of you have seen this move to finished and this is a dot right here this is a colon for the move to a dot right here because this is an event and this fires when a move to hits the it's hits its goal position so we are going to connect that to this anonymous function and what we're going to do is we're going to increment our waypoint index by one now, when we get to the end here, that's going to be a problem, right? We'll get an array out of bounds error. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to check to see if WPX is greater than the number of points in the track. If it is, I'm going to say WPS, I'm going to reset it to one. All right, now, once again, once we get to a point, let's move to, and we're going to go to, there, look at this, we can just do this. All right, copy, paste. We're gonna to move to our next point. And since this is already connected, it's gonna do this forever. It's gonna loop until you break the loop somehow or you turn off your game or something. So let's go ahead and try it. Here we go. And he starts running, running, running. And he's gonna just keep on doing that because every time he gets to a waypoint, we're gonna fire that move to finish and it's gonna select another waypoint with an index that's a little bit bigger, one, one, one increment bigger. All right, so that's a basic patrol function and we will add to that.